for centuries, the Jews inhabited the Iberian Peninsula, Sepharad in Hebrew. As a result of the Inquisition, the Jews were expelled from Spain in 1492. After only a number of years in Portugal, many Jews migrated to North Africa and the majority settled into the Ottoman Empire, where they were welcomed by Sultan Bayezid II. One such city was that of Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia. Sarajevo, or Sarai, was known for being a multi-religious city with Muslims, Jews, Catholics, and Orthodox Christians living together, before World War II that is. These Jews, Sephardic Jews, spoke Judeo-Spanish, or Ladino, a language that developed greatly in the diaspora with linguistic influences from many surrounding cities and local languages. The Saved by Language documentary tells the story of how Morris al-Bahari, a Sephardic Jew from Sarajevo, spoke Ladino to survive the Holocaust. After Morris ran away from the train taking Yugoslavian Jews to Nazi death camps in 1941, he used Ladino to communicate with an Italian colonel who helped him escape to a partisan safe area. Later on, by speaking in Ladino to a Spanish-speaking U.S. pilot, Morris was able to survive and lead the pilot, along with the pilot's American and British colleagues, to a safe partisan airport. Ladino saved Morris's life. He returned to Sarajevo after the war and was reunited with his family. After the Holocaust, few Jews returned to Sarajevo. In order not to draw attention to themselves, many Sephardic Jews did not speak in Ladino publicly and didn't teach the language to their children, using Serbo-Croatian instead. There are currently only four people left in Sarajevo who speak Ladino. From 1992 to 1996, Sarajevo was under siege. It was the longest siege of a capital city in the history of modern warfare. Electricity, water, and food supplies were cut off for much of the war, and around 10,000 Sarajevo residents were shot by snipers or killed by mortars. Holocaust survivors and their offspring at the Sarajevo Synagogue ran a humanitarian aid agency which gave out medicines, provided medical assistance, and distributed food during the war to all citizens, regardless of religion. Many in the Jewish community of Bosnia left the country during the war, especially young people. The community in Sarajevo currently has around 800 members. Ladino is one of thousands of endangered languages that may go extinct by the next century, unless we act to save them. Ladino saved Morris's life. What are we going to do to save Ladino? Hope is not lost for this language, as it continues to be used in countries worldwide. There's a printed newspaper in Turkey and a journal printed in Israel, along with a number of others distributed via the web. There are radio programs in Spain and Israel in Ladino, and there are also online groups where people write in Ladino. And yes, there are even Facebook Ladino-only groups. Music is a major element to keep Ladino from extinction. There are several Sephardic musicians bringing life to the musical legacy of the culture. Yasmin Levy adds a flamenco style to traditional Ladino songs. Kat Para creates contemporary arrangements and mixes musical styles. Liliana Benveniste from Argentina sings some Ladino songs as tangos. Sara Arueste makes modern rock music in Ladino. Our music director, Montserrat Franco, sings traditional Sephardic songs called cantigas. She studied the ethnomusicology of Sephardic music and recorded many Ladino speakers singing songs from their childhood. Merci mucho por su atención. No tenemos escapado nuestro filmo de Inda, ma tenemos una parte pronta para mostrarvos y para que vean un poquitico la historia de Morris y la importancia de la lengua judea española en su vida.